Andy Mogul. Hey, Indie Moglers, welcome to Friday 101 for this week. You know, between the wedding, the storm, the terror trial that turned into a turkey trial, it seems like lately I haven't had as much time for just regular tutorial stuff. Or as Neo Ray 10 commented on last week's episode, we expected Friday 101 to be tutorials of filmmaking, tripods, etc. And you know what? He or she is right. It's obvious what you guys want. That's right, tripods. And with the holidays coming up, I'm sure a lot of you are looking to add a few things to your equipment collection. And if you're thinking of getting a new tripod, then there's a few things that you should know, especially you younger viewers out there. See, when I was first starting out in filmmaking, I started with a very basic, cheap, pan head tripod. They have independent rotations of vertical and horizontal vertices, and they can be good for panning very quickly from one thing to another. There's a few different kinds of tripods out there, but if you go with a really cheap one, chances are it's a pan head. But here's the problem you run into. This is called the stick slip effect. When panning your shot, the surfaces within the tripod are rubbing against each other, and this causes friction. This results in a random jerky motion, especially when starting your movement and ending it. Sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's pretty slight, but it's not perfectly smooth. For a smoother, more professional looking movement, you're going to want to get what's called a fluid head tripod. Fluid heads use a force called dampening to get rid of the jerky motion that we saw before. Look how smooth it is this time compared to the last shot. The movement is usually a little bit slower than what you'll get from a pan head, and you'll feel more resistance from the tripod as you move it, but the smoother motion's worth it. Actually, it's worth having a fluid head as your main tripod and then having a pan head kind of as a backup. Pan head tripods can be pretty cheap, and you can usually find them for like $20 to $30 at Best Buy and even cheaper online. Fluid head tripods are understandably a little bit more expensive. Uh, this was the cheapest one that I could find. It's the Pearstone VT2100, and even that was $70. And understand that it isn't as well built as some other fluid head tripods, so if if you do end up getting this one, it's a good tripod, just go easy on it because it's not made quite as sturdy. And don't be fooled by cheaper online alternatives that say things like fluid effect or oil fluid pan heads. Anything that seems to imply that it's a fluid head but not really commit to it, that's something you want to stay away from. These tripods are not truly fluid heads and are essentially just regular pan heads that have their insides all greased up. They'll work better than a pan head will without it, but nothing compares to a true fluid head tripod. One other type of tripod that might be of interest to you is called a pistol grip tripod. Now if you look at this footage here, you'll get a pretty good idea of how it works. If you're looking to set your shot up at an odd angle, it's great and it's a lot easier to do than with a regular pan head. And if you want to do quick pans that stop on a dime, just turn it really fast and let go mid-turn, it'll go and just stop like that. At least I think it will. I've never actually had one myself, but I really want to get one just kind of to try out that theory and use that shot idea in something. So to be fair, that's just theoretical. But it's another option. That's all for today. I think I've covered the basics of tripods pretty well. I didn't get into higher end equipment, but if you can afford something like a thousand dollar Gitzo tripod, which is pretty much the best brand that you can get, wonderful. You don't need me telling you about the basics. You're, you're pretty well set. They're pretty much the greatest tripods you'll ever use. That and Manfrotto. I'm leaving you today with a few tripod related videos. And honestly, I'm just happy I don't have to say the word fluid head anymore. I've said it so much that the words have lost all meaning to me. Fluid head fluid head. Yeah, doesn't even sound right anymore.